Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are going to discuss the methods to diagnose oligohydramnios now. After taking proper history from the patient and doing appropriate examination, the next step in managing a case of oligohydramnios is the assessment of amniotic fluid by using different ultrasonographic measurements. In the top right corner of this video in the i button, you can find other videos related to oligohydramnios. So what ultrasonography measurements are used to assess the amount of amniotic fluid? Those measurements are done by using three methods. First of all, subjective assessment of amniotic fluid. Secondly, measurement of maximum vertical pool. Thirdly, measurement of amniotic fluid index. Let us discuss the subjective assessment of amniotic fluid estimation. By subjective assessment of amniotic fluid estimation, we mean amniotic fluid evaluation along with biometry measurements and placing uh, one into three categories normal, oligohydramnios, or polyhydramnios. Subjective ultrasonographic measurements of amniotic fluid volume may serve as a screening test for the experienced ultrasonographer. But there are many inter and intra observer variations in this type of assessment. That's why when a decreased or increased amount of amniotic fluid volume is suspected, one may elect to use the amniotic fluid index for the confirmation of subjective impression. Let us discuss the maximum vertical pool assessment. This is also called the single deepest pocket STP and when to measure MVP. In both singleton and twin pregnancies, it is measured at less than 24 weeks of gestation. And how to measure MVP or the maximum vertical pool? For that, we need to find the largest pocket of amniotic fluid free of cord and fetal parts. Measure the greatest dimension with the ultrasound transducer perpendicular to the uterus. And the normal value of maximum vertical pool is 2 to 8 cm. Let us discuss amniotic fluid index. This is used in singleton pregnancies at 24 weeks or more. And how to measure it? First of all, divide the uterus into four equal quadrants and measure the deepest vertical uh, pocket of fluid in each quadrant. Pocket should be free of cord or fetal parts. Add the four measurements together to get the amniotic fluid index. So let us talk about the measurements of amniotic fluid index. A normal AFI measures between 5 to 24 cm. And when AFI is less than 5 cm, that is called oligohydramnios. And when AFI is more than 24 cm, it is called polyhydramnios. Now, how to measure the amniotic fluid index? Step number one, divide the uterus into four quadrants, A, B, C, D. Step number two, measure the deepest vertical pocket of fluid in each quadrant. And step number three is add the four measurements together to get the amniotic fluid index. When the uh, amniotic fluid index lies in the range of 5 to 24 centimeter, that is normal. So here in this example, you can see that from the four quadrant, we have added up the values of the deepest vertical pools to get the uh, AFI. And here it is 12 centimeters so this is in the normal range now there are some prerequisites for the amniotic fluid index assessment first of all the pocket should be free of cord and the fetal parts here in this picture you can see the first one is wrong there are some fetal parts or the cord uh, and in the second picture you can see that this is just the amniotic fluid so the second picture is the right one the second prerequisite is that measure the pocket vertically. So in the first picture, you can see that uh, someone is taking the oblique view, which is wrong. And in the second picture, the vertical pocket is taken and that is the right one. So that was all about the diagnosis of oligohydramnios. I would like to complete my presentation by this quote. And that is, setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into visible. So write your goals down in detail and read your list of goals every day to make impossible possible. Okay, thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.